Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you three useful Android apps and actually this is the first Android app and it's a lock screen replacement and this app is known as Active Lock Screen and as you can see uh, we can get these widgets and you can customize it and this is the lock screen if you go over obviously over here it unlocks and from here you can set it to vibrate. Another thing is that you can set the calls you can set up your favorites and it also uh, shows you the what do you say the last callers so you can directly just go there and call up the other thing that you can do is uh, you can set the quick apps and you can set it up for example i have set it to whatsapp uh, this uh, gmail browser and uh, clock and again uh, it also shows you the recent apps that you have used and also you can go to the camera directly here so it's completely customizable and also it gives you the date and time over here and for example let's say i've uh, customized it for cnn and this engadget app and let's say I, I like this news and i want to know more about it i just take that and drag it here and it'll open this uh, app directly so again it's really useful and customizable and let me lock it again yeah so this is again a pretty much customizable let us unlock the phone now directly and this is active lock again if you open up you get a lot of options here you can select your shortcuts for example. customize your contacts you can set the apps for example i've set you can adjust the amount of apps that you want for example i've just kept it to four here and uh, again you can again uh, move the camera and it also as i showed it shows us the recent apps so it's customizable and again these plugins are also customizable as you might have seen uh, we were getting this Engadget and CNN uh, widgets uh, you can customize it and you can just go to the Play Store and actually install a lot more plugins like this as you can see we have tons and tons of plugins that are available for this app and that way you can customize the widget and we can also set up the themes the default theme is white but you have tons of themes again black or whatever you want so you can customize it so again i find this have to be really useful and again if you're bored with your lock screen i would say that you definitely have a look at this active locks uh, app again it's uh, completely free from the android play store you can download it i'll uh, give the links in the show notes and the second app that i want to talk about is this easy battery saver again as we are using android phone we are bugged by the battery life and using this app the only con of this app as you have seen ads pop up that's the only a big limitation of this app but if you get can get over that it does offer a lot of optimizations and features for example i'm using this advanced customization mode and here you can customize it uh, to your liking for example i have uh, adjusted the brightness settings uh, the brightness value when the battery falls uh, low and again i can also adjust the auto brightness settings and the biggest thing is the sleep schedule for example uh, whenever you put your android phone in the standby mode actually it's not off uh, it will be constantly checking what say uh, the apps might be checking to get data for example your gmail notifications etc they might be pinging up and down and that can take up battery so what i did is in the sleep schedule i've asked the phone to shut off for 15 minutes completely no data activity when it's in standby and after 15 minutes it wakes up for 30 seconds and check if any application needs to access data for example email facebook twitter etc and that way i can save a lot of battery life at night uh, if you do not switch off your phone for example i do not switch off my phone uh, at night and there i have set it to automatically get updates only uh, after two hours so again you can customize this a lot and thereby you can get a significant boost in your battery life and as you can see it also shows us the consumption etc and again i find the layout to be really easy so again if you're bugged down by the battery life i would definitely say that check out this app and customize it and see if it can boost up your battery life and the last app that i want to show is app lock this is a very interesting app for example using this app you can lock up apps for example i have locked the let's say this messaging app and if you see before opening it it asked me for the password my password is 007 and if i enter the password it allows me to open again this will be useful if you share your android phone with a lot of people and again uh, i would also say that this can be beneficial if you have small kids in the house they can tinker around with stuff for example i don't want my kid to open up the app store uh, she generally just installs this or that on the phone so by using this a simple app you can restrict the apps that uh, you would like for example 
as you can see it gives us all the apps that are here and you can easily just disable them for example let's uh, make this calculator app that's open let's make it password protected so i just toggle it now it's locked now if i open the calculator app it's going to ask for a password so as you can see again this app is also really useful app lock and uh, you can download it again it's free so that's a great thing i hope you found these three apps useful i'll have the link of these apps in the youtube show notes below that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video